Hey there. More bonsai diary. Last time we left off, we were 21... <coughs> excuse me, 2178. Go generation, 5th generation. Now moving over to 6. Uh, Roku. And that's a lot of strokes. And it's the year 2213. 20, Super future. Um, also, I've been realizing that I've been making these trees like thick AF. Um, <laughs> oops. Alright, well. Anywho, uh, resilience. In 1625, the Yamaki family first began training a small pine tree. Cared for over six generations, the bonsai survived the atomic blast that wiped out most of Hiroshima on August 6, 1945. Also surviving the blast was Mazaru Yamaki, who went to donate this treasure, family treasure to the United States to celebrate the nation's bicentennial in 1976. But the National Arboretum, which cared for the tree, did not learn its story until 2001 from two of Yamaki's grandsons. The Yamaki pine can be seen as part of the bonsai collection of the U.S. National Arboretum in Washington, D.C. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So, let's get to work here. Still me. Renewal. What series of improbable coincidences led you to this bonsai, which was planted by your kin? As in, the original? The, like, as in Generation 1? Oh, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Um... Improbable coincidences. Um, hmm. How far in the future is this? It's like thirty five, no, forty five years in the future. So, uh, Let's say the, oh, let's see, the enthusiast was ambitious about getting this, this species, um, like, proliferating again when it started bearing seeds. Um, I would think that they would treasure it, so maybe something terrible happened to him. <laughs> hmm. I think, um, I think there was a terrible accident and there was an auction and, um, let's see. <laughs> I went all out in this one. <laughs> I went to an auction for my boyfriend, and the name on the pot matched the, my childhood dog. So I got it. <laughs> uh, you try to imagine the person who first planted this bonsai. What do you think of them? Well, but then how would I have known that it was planted by my kin? 
Oh, whatever. Okay. You try to imagine the person who first planted this bonsai. What do you think of them? What do you imagine they think of you? Um... They must have been nurturing. I hope they think me kind. Okay. Alright, should I try to fix the tree? <laughs> because I realize I've been making this thing have a thick trunk. I did imagine, <clears throat> I did imagine a future where this thing had significantly less, like, care. Like, who knows how long it was sitting uncared for, so maybe it's... Ten strokes, too. Ten of them. Keep a little dangly. Alright, so we got five here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got four more. Uh, I think it's time it has a dangly on the other side. It's still a thick, <laughs> it's still a thick, chunky tree, but you know what? It's getting there. Alright. <clears throat> Ten strokes. Okay. Does it still have fruit? Sure, why not? Let's, let's keep, let's give it some fruit still. I don't know, let's use the brush side. There might be new fruits though. Purple love heart tree. Purple love heart tree. Do be do do. Do be do 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 do.
I'm not forgetting this time, especially since I made <laughs> the last time I forgot the pot. But I'm not forgetting the pot this time. Okay. There we go. Did not forget anything this time. Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> okay. I, I need to, like, pull these strokes in a little tighter. And these two, even if, even with a knot. <clears throat> but, we'll do that next time. Alright. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.